on the developing and organizing side. I mean, administration side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just completed my triple and I just I'm just looking forward for this. I'm right now. I'm doing like masters mm -hmm. in uh, I guess community okay. states. Okay. Uh, so, do, uh, do you have any idea about uh, data warehousing or uh, anything with respect to SQL or anything of this yeah, sort? Uh, yeah, not. Uh, I can't give one hundred percent sure about that. I can know a little bit about data warehouse, like database systems and like that, but not perfectly. Okay, not a problem. I mean, the reason why I asked is if you know that, that's good. Or else, also to to learn Tableau, uh, it doesn't require you to know any other uh, tools or any other concepts. So that's completely fine. So with respect to training, uh, the way uh, I go ahead is uh, first of all, uh, we'll uh, start with the training. I mean, with the basics concepts, with the basics, and then uh, with some advanced topics. So parallelly, it's like once we are done with our, our session. So before starting the next session, uh, I'll just verify if you have any questions or doubts, and only post that. We'll uh, continue with the next session. The first thing. So a uh, daily. It's like after three four days. As of now, I assume you're not installed Tableau on your system, right? No. Okay, cool. Uh, that is because you'll get a 14 days trial version. So initially, once I complete uh, three to four sessions, then I'll ask you to install uh, Tableau in your system. So post that it's like within 14 days, uh, I'll make sure that uh, you will be in a position to create any of the dashboards and uh, anything. So that is the second thing. And the third thing is like whatever sessions we talk or whatever I show on my screen, everything will be recorded. And end of the session, I'll be sharing the recording with you also. Yeah, that's great. So uh, let me share my screen. I'll just give you, uh, uh, I mean, a small details about the demo and all. Can you see my yeah. screen now? Mm, yeah, I may know your good name, please. Uh, Surendra. Surendra, yeah. I asked, I just asked Ravi to uh, mail the post content as well, but I didn't get any post content regarding this. Okay, he will share so, it with you. Not an issue. Okay. Yeah, mainly so, uh, one thing I just mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, go on. No, no, no sorry, go on. So, yeah, sorry, I just want to go on with briefly according to commenting by other like my seniors and just want to go on like developing an administration side in the Tableau. They are going to go on this side. There is a lot of uh, jobs in the right now in the US market. Uh -huh. So, uh, I just want to know that how do you going to explain all to, uh, all the uh, all together I don't know anything about that, but I'm just asking you: Are you going to explain the all together like administration first or developing? Which I um, mean, the steps how the, the steps how to, how you deal with this? Yeah, with respect to administration, so first of all, you should know uh, the developer developer part for this, because administration okay. is mainly like granting access to people and which sheet you should uh, give access, which dashboard you should give access, and when I say a sheet, a dashboard, you should be having idea about what a sheet is what a dashboard is, what a chart is, and uh, only you grant access, and what are the requirements. So until and unless you know about the underlying sheets or dashboards, you'll not be able to play the role of administrator. So initially, you should know a developer. And with respect to administrator, it's not a big thing. Like It is just about granting access and publishing few things. And uh, that will not be taking that much time. So the main thing here is the developer. Because administration, uh, administrator, everyone, anyone can do that. But developer is the main thing which uh, you need to know about. So yeah, uh, so now you're going to explain about administration and as well as develop, develop So first, at the same time. first comes uh, the developer one. So until I cover the complete uh, developer part, then only I can go for the administrator. Yeah. One more question was that, like the course content with this, now what you're telling me, like the course content with the uh, developer and the administrator as well, right? Administration as well, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, okay, thank you. So, um, are you a real-time employer? Uh, yes. Why? So, I am just I just wanted to verify with you, like, uh, are you working in a, any other MNC company and do you, do you, do you have any experience in this or anything like that? It's like I'm working from past three years. I have uh, worked on Tableau 6, 7, 8. So this is almost the third uh, the uh, version release. Because when I say version release, it's like in Tableau, you'll be having 
Tableau 7.1, 7.1.2, 7.2, 2 sets releases, but I'm telling about the major release that is 6, 7, and 8. 6, 7, and 8. Yeah, so I've seen uh, Tableau when all the features now it's like very much easy for you to learn but previously it's like I had to create each and everything by myself uh, in order to do something. So I'll show you some sample workbook. So uh, I'll show you uh, what are the major changes which happened for when uh, compared to 6, 7 and 8. So here if you see uh, Tableau, this is the main home page once you install you'll be able to see the same version here. And these are all the dashboards which I have created or which I have opened on my system. So which will come up here. And in this part are the sample databases. So these are the ones which Tableau provides. So once you install Tableau, uh, these are by default uh, the Tableau data source within which you will be having the uh, da databases available for you. And these are the sample workbooks. So I'll just open one sample workbook for you. So uh, have you ever seen a Tableau dashboard or anything in YouTube or Tableau website? Did you get a chance to look uh, into that? No. Everything is completely new on this. I'm just searching right now. I'm doing research on this like on the YouTube, but not it started. Okay, cool. Not a problem. So here, say for example, this is called as dashboard. So the main reason why uh, it has got so much value in the market is, so the final chart would be looking something like this final dashboard so this is called a dashboard so here uh, say so for example uh, you can compare this to be any reporting tool or uh, just to keep it simple you can compare it to be a PowerPoint presentation so wherein say for example if you are interested in this point so once I hover on that I will get all the details it's an interactive one so wherever I move my cursor you see that particular things are changing in the map below so this is the main reason yeah. why just because of the interaction so this has got so much value in the market so once I hover on anything in dashboard, I'll get to know the details. So this is the year which uh, results in such peak here. So this is the name like the year, the average GDP, the GDP per capita. And once I click here, if you see, it's like I can see the underlying data coming up here. So this is mainly acts on the Australia below and uh, if I just pull around so you see uh, th this causes in uh, North and South America and so on. It's like with just a moment, moment of my cursor, I'll get to know where exactly it's changing. And here also I can apply filters. I can delete everything. If I'm just interested in uh, uh, say this one, I'll get to know what are the different regions acting up. So even if I move my cursor, so this is mainly the Tableau dashboard. So whatever you do, whatever tools you do with respect to data or anything, whatever tools, whatever data warehousing or business intelligence, uh, end, end result, it's like you should be able to present the result in a uh, readable format to the client who doesn't have any technical exposure. So in that sense, if you just want to make it more uh, uh, lively or more uh, interactive mode, then Tableau is the one. So other than Tableau, you have two other tools that has ClickView and Spotfire in the market as well. So out of these three, Tableau to learn, it's easy. And with respect to interaction or to build a dashboard, it's very much easier when compared to ClickView and Spotfire. Because in ClickView, for each and everything, you need to write a script. But here, it's like just drag and drop, choosing options. You need to know where exactly you have to go create the options. And once you do all these things, and another thing, it's like uh, even if you want to uh, learn uh, it's mainly easy easier compared to other tools that is one yeah. major difference when you compare it with uh, ClickView and Spotfire yeah I got some question uh, regarding this Tableau work uh, I just want to know briefly what what does the uh, Tableau works <coughs> I mean what does for what the Tableau is described by you know the meaning of the Tableau I mean I mean it's a data visualization tool as I just now told you you can compare it with a reporting tool so when you have uh, say Cognos or BO business objects all those things uh, you can do uh, I mean many of the companies right now assume or consider this to be a reporting tool as well as a business intelligence tool but what I can easily compare it to is a PowerPoint presentation so when I say data visualization tool when you want to provide or uh, I mean show any results so then you can create a similar dashboard or uh, similar things wherein you have multiple uh, charts or multiple dashboards and then present your result so, so it's mainly a data vision 
yeah you can create mainly it's all the charts and if you if you can just see these are all the different type of charts and you can customize or you can combine multiple charts and then you can uh, come up with a story and present it in a readable format okay and um, yeah so with respect to these four tabs this is the four first tab which i showed you wherein um, yeah in the first tab it's like these are the sample dashboards which I have opened earlier and uh, this is a home page and if I go to connect to data so these are all the different data sources or the databases which I can connect to from Tableau so which includes uh, Sybase, Vectorwise, SQL and even the simple ones like Excel, Access, Text File you can import all these things and one easiest thing or one good thing about Tableau is irrespective of the databases once you click on something the window which comes up or the procedure to read in the data it's all the same irrespective of the databases okay. so no need to worry about that and uh, I'll come to the main developer window so if I open a new one <clears throat> uh, or else in the meantime can you show me the host content as well so that I can, uh, I can get a picture on that so uh, course content um, I mean I'll show you the demo now I need to look into my hard disk so I don't have it handy no, I'm sorry at the end of the class can you, you can show me that so that I can get a, get a brief uh, picture on that hmm for the course content uh, um, I can ask Ravi to share it uh, I mean once I'm done with the session immediately so okay. he'll be able to okay, share it with you. yeah so yeah you can go through the course content not a problem so mainly I just wanted to show you that this is the developer window wherein you will develop all the sheets or dashboards whatever it is you'll be developing here and uh, I mean uh, it's like with respect to options I'll go through each and every option what comes up here so with respect to worksheet like once I go to actions or say for example if analysis if I go to totals so what's a row grand total what's a column grand total forecast trend lines so I'll go through each and everything in the class and uh, with respect to creating the charts as I earlier told I'll be recording it for you as well so each and every recording so no need for you to google or anything so you can refer back to the recording and let me know if you have any questions and then uh, accordingly uh, we will go ahead with the sessions as well so these okay, are the main so things and uh, other than that one add-on which we'll be providing is uh, there would be uh, I mean once I'm done with the training I'll be showing you with a live project so the way the client approaches you the requirement document or the requirement how they share it with you so you will know how you will be getting the requirement from the client and the second thing is uh, we'll be working on a project a live project so that you will have some exposure telling that uh, not just going through the training but end of the training you will be having uh, some exo exposure on the project and even if you get some work or even if you start working on something so you will have some real-time experience on that and the last thing would be like I'll build your profile as well so if you share your resume with me I'll add some keywords Tableau keywords so end of the day it's like you can go ahead go out to the market and tell that okay you have experience on Tableau okay thank you so these are the th main things which I'll be providing I mean uh, uh, with respect to training uh, I mean the course content he will be sharing with you so I'll be providing you with the recording also and other than that a sample project and the profile building as well okay thank you. yeah so these are the main things and uh, if you're fine with the uh, training or anything we can go ahead with the training and uh, you can inform Ravi about it and uh, even I'll ask Ravi to share uh, the course content and whatever details you require and with respect to uh, timings so if you're fine with this time I mean the time when we logged in I know it, there was a delay today by 20 minutes that was because uh, uh, I mean I had logged into another uh, meeting ID and Ravi had shared our latest ID which was this one so then I connected with him then he told me that uh, the, the, this was the issue okay uh, I just want to know that yeah, clearly like so are you gonna explain me about the administration after completion of the developing developing side completely after course content after developing side right 
Yeah. So there are uh, four level architectures in Tableau that is uh, Tableau Desktop, Tableau Public, Tableau Server and Tableau Reader. So all these four things okay. I'll explain you in detail but just for our introduction sake. Tableau Desktop is the place where you develop and Tableau Reader is a yeah. free software wherein as the name suggests it is just a reader wherein once you develop the Tableau dashboard everything you can just read you'll not be having access to write or make any changes and Tableau public as the name suggests it is for public for uh, it was mainly developed for schools wherein it is completely free but you will not be having as many features as in Tableau desktop and the last one is Tableau server wherein you will be doing all the administrative work when I say administration it is mainly with respect to granting access and then uh, yeah. I mean uh, just granting access to the user with respect to multiple dashboards, multiple sheets. Say for example okay. if I've developed a dashboard and uh, my dashboard has five sheets. So five sheets representing each countries and I'll be sharing the result with my clients in all the five countries. So I can grant them access telling that from US the client from US will be having access to only dashboard showing the details about US and the client from UK will be having access only to the UK and so on. Okay. So these are the main things and uh, the main thing which matters a lot is the Tableau desktop version wherein you develop and there are a lot of advanced topics how do you derive that and what is the action and I showed you like once I move my cursor everything else will change that is called as uh, action and uh, you need to create a field there are a lot of various concepts like uh, filters, set, parameter, hierarchy, groups and then uh, actions all these things would be covered in detail. And are you going to give any notes regarding this or? I'm giving you. I'm giving you recordings itself. I think you can play it back at your end how many ever times okay. you need. No need of any okay. notes and even if you forget it even after years you can refer to the recording and then um, I think you can create it by yourself. Okay and uh, how many hours was that the course? The course was? Course is for 20 hours overall and uh, when I say 20 hours it's not like strict 20 hours like whether you understand or not it's not like that way so if you are uh, understanding whatever I'm saying or uh, I'll try to make it as easier as possible so if you are able to understand it then uh, we might cover it sooner than that or if you're stuck in any topic then uh, we might take some time clarifying your doubts so it's like it completely okay. depends on you the way you pick it up yeah, the daily section was the session was like one hour or just for for five minutes or how do you decide? How we'll you go we'll go, go we'll actually go ahead with one hour until and unless there is some problem or there is some urgent issue, but ideally it's one hour session. So there are slots like uh, for me even before this I've uh, I'm booked with some other trainings and after this also I am booked. So it will be like strict. I'll be logging in at seven thirty to eight thirty my time. So within this time we'll be having one hour session and just in case if you get some interview call or anything and you need some urgent uh, sessions or anything then I'm, I can go ahead with some weekend sessions for you as well. Okay and the course completely what is the uh, course fee structure for this? Uh, that you need to discuss with Ravi because uh, okay. I mean I'm just a trainer and uh, they have the training institute so they get the candidates for me so uh, I'm just concerned with the course content on the training the way I handle but mainly the fees and all uh, Ravi would discuss with you. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. And can you please ask give me the course structure so that I can have a look and I can make uh, I can make a call or just I can give a reply on the mail. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, once I'm done with this uh, what I'll do is um, I'm, I have anyways recorded this session also so I, I will share the recording with him as well as I'll ask him to uh, share whatever details you need. Most probably I'll ask him to give you a call or send a mail about the course structure. Yeah, should I mail to you or just uh, Ravi regarding anything else like a subject or anything? Yeah, initially uh, you need to contact with Ravi and one you, once you have finalized about the training session then I'll share my mail ID so that you can directly contact me itself. So the recordings I'll be directly sharing it with you. Okay, thank you. So your good name is Surinder, was that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you.